Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to another Red Dead video. Now today we're going to be going over the hunting wagon in Red Dead Online. I'll be going over 10 things that you need to know about this vehicle and basically if you should buy it or not and there is a big buyer's beware I'm going to be going over. I made a video a couple days ago reviewing the bounty wagon and today is going to be all about the hunting wagon that does come at the same price tag of $875 and three roll tokens, or if you want to pay in gold bars it will cost you 35 gold bars. To unlock the ability to purchase this vehicle you will also need to be rank 10 in your trader role. If you want to level up your trader role very quickly I have already made a video on my channel going over 15 tips and tricks to rank it up very quickly and you'll be unlocking this vehicle in no time. So the first tip I have for you guys in this video is to buy insurance for your hunting wagon. If you write off your hunting wagon, it's actually going to set you back $8 each time. So the insurance will basically be worth it if you manage to destroy your wagon over 15 times. And if another player destroys your hunting wagon, it may also charge you the $8. So having that insurance can kind of help you keep covered against griefers. Next up, the wagon will actually save your cargo. And this is probably my favorite aspect of the hunting wagon as it acts as kind of a personal storage wagon that you can move around. So if you do get disconnected from the game, which let's be honest has been an issue that quite a lot of us have been experiencing lately, the wagon will save the cargo that's stored inside of it. Whereas if you had it on the back of your horse, it will be deleted if you do disconnect and have to reconnect to a new lobby. In fact, even if you dismiss your wagon, all of the skins and carcasses will still be in the wagon when you call it back. The wagon can store up to 10 small animals, so this is things such as rabbits, and if you're storing large animals it can hold up to 5 at once, so that's basically 5 large buck carcasses or deer. You can also mix and match the two, but just know that a large carcass will basically take the place of two small carcasses. The menu can be a little bit deceiving as it shows quite a few inventory slots here, and also if you're storing several animals of the same type, they will also stack in the inventory, but this doesn't actually affect the storage space. So if you're storing five deer that stack, that's still the max capacity of the hunting wagon. And you can store all kinds of animals in the hunting wagon, even fish. Large fish will take up the same storage space as large carcasses, so you can store up to five large fish inside of the wagon. Keep in mind that Crips does not accept fish for camp donations, but you can always keep them and take them to a butcher to sell. At the number 4 spot is that you cannot have the hunting wagon and your horse called at the same time. And this is the same for the bounty wagon and basically all own vehicles in the game. You can't have an own vehicle called while having your horse spawned. And this is definitely a bit of a disappointment with the hunting wagon. Personally I think it should work more like the MOC in Grand Theft Auto Online where you have your MOC basically routed to a location and then you can use your personal vehicle to go and do things and then go back to your MOC location. The process for spawning your hunting wagon, if you didn't already, is to go up to your horse, interact with it and choose flee, and then this will allow you to spawn your hunting wagon by hitting left on the d-pad, going into stables, clicking on vehicles, clicking on owned vehicles, and then choosing to spawn the wagon from here. So there is quite a lot of interfacing to just basically spawn your hunting wagon. The hunting wagon quite often won't spawn right next to you, so if you're hunting animals and you have carcasses on the ground, there's a chance that they might actually despawn as you go to pick up that hunting wagon and bring it to the location where you have been hunting. This next tip is one that actually really helped me become a lot more efficient with the hunting wagon, and that is that the most efficient way to use it is to fill up the wagon in your hunting area, and instead of riding all the way back to your camp or your butcher in the hunting wagon, it's to dismiss the wagon and then call your horse and use your horse's transport and then you can quite quickly gallop to your destination and it kind of just saves having to move around into such a sluggish um, mode of transportation from your hunting trip. I'm sure you can see in the gameplay but this thing is basically a giant slug. If you do dismiss your hunting wagon there will be a 2 minute cooldown until you can call it again, however you can call your horse immediately after dismissing the wagon. The next thing that you guys need to know about this vehicle is only you can store animals in it. Other players can't seem to store carcasses in your wagon, even if they're in your posse. And this is honestly pretty strange because you can allow posse members to store bounties inside of your bounty wagon, so it's a little bit weird that nobody can store the carcasses inside of your hunting wagon. I did notice there are some settings in the vehicle storage menu, 
but this seems to only apply to who can actually drive your hunting wagon, so you can allow posse members to drive it, and it doesn't seem to affect who can actually store animals inside of it. So if you are going on hunting trips with friends or posse members, what they'll have to do is basically throw animals on the ground next to the wagon and you'll have to stick them in there. Next up, once you store something inside of the wagon, you cannot withdraw it back out. So basically once you throw something in here, the only way to get rid of it is to sell it, donate it to your camp, or discard it. There's no way to take a carcass back out of the storage. And the tenth and final fact that you guys need to know about the hunting wagon is that you can fast travel with it, so you just need to go to a fast travel post and you can transport your hunting wagon. So with those ten tips and tricks out of the way, I'm basically going to finish this video with a basic review of the hunting wagon and if you guys should purchase it or not. Now I have kind of mixed feelings on this one because I do feel a bit disappointed with the hunting wagon. I feel like there's generally a, a lot of messing around with this thing. There's just a lot of interfaces and it's very sluggish to move. And it just generally didn't improve the efficiency of my hunting runs as much as I thought it would. I think if we were able to use our horse in conjunction with our own vehicle it would make hunting down deer and bringing them back to the hunting wagon a lot more efficient. In all the time it takes to realistically fill your hunting wagon, you could have actually done quite a few trips transporting carcasses back and forth just on your horse as you've always done. And with a price point of $875, you're going to have to do basically 4 or 5 hunting runs to pay off the wagon. So unless you guys plan on doing quite a few hunting runs with this vehicle, you might want to reconsider buying it unless you're going to be able to actively pay it off. Now in my video about the bounty wagon, I did recommend you guys buy the bounty wagon if you do want to become more efficient in the bounty role, especially since it's such a slow roll to level up. Whereas the trader role is such a fast one to level up, you can fly through levels from just completing resupply missions and sale missions. You don't really need the hunting wagon at all to be able to level up the trader role. I think I actually made this purchase after I was already maxed at level 20. So don't think that you need to purchase the hunting wagon at level 10 to make it all the way up to level 20, because it's actually a very, very fast roll to level up. So that was everything you need to know about the hunting wagon. Do let me know down in the comments if you guys are planning on picking this one up, or if you have already bought it, are you happy with your purchase so far? Do let us know down in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a few seconds to leave it a like, and also subscribe if you are new to my channel, so you don't miss out on any future videos like this. Have a good one guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.